Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Buona Dominica, everyone. Buona Dominica. We are out here enjoying the beautiful day on our balcony. That's the view from our balcony. We are so, so, so blessed. It's beautiful. And we have been chatting this morning. What have we been chatting about, guys? Leadership. Leadership. Okay. What, what we, we think of leadership. Yeah. Okay. So what, what, uh, specifically, do you guys remember some of the things that we were, we were talking about? Like how, what you have to do, what you want other people to do, you have to do yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's a stinky concept, isn't it? It's like, it's it? like the <laughs> quote that I like, um, be the change you want to see in the world. Yeah. Mahatma Gandhi. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, definitely. It's a hard concept. It's one that um, in parenting, the words that we say are... Um, do as I do, not as I say, right? And so, um, <laughs> so it's hard to to remember that and to think that we have to actually do inside of ourselves the things that we want to see around the world, <laughs> and so um, and see from the leaders around us in the world too. So otherwise, we don't do it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so one of the other things that we were talking about is that um, over the past maybe. Maybe 100 years, 50 years, leadership has really developed as a discipline, which is a cool thing to think about. So, um, so just like economics uh, became a discipline that you could study at university and get certifications for and degrees for, um, and medicine, same thing, uh, was a discipline that you could study and get degrees for. Um, so now leadership is the same sort of thing. So um, that happens, um, disciplines get institutionalized when we, do you, do you remember what I said? Do you remember, yes. what it was yes. it? Tell me, Jack. So when, uh, when you have like older people who know how to do it and they pass their wisdom down through generation and generation. Yeah, so that's definitely part of it. What do you remember? What else? Do you remember yes, else? Uh, like there in the beginning, there's people who were like, "I'm a doctor," and other people who are like, "I'm a doctor." And some people are good, and they are like actually good at the stuff that they do, and they're gifted from God. And then some people aren't, and they just like want the money or something. Yeah. So, so something becomes, a discipline becomes something that um, becomes institutionalized and we, we can actually study and get, um, get training on and degrees for when we, can see, when we can see the obvious benefits of people who are doing it well or like economic systems that are, that are working well. Um, and then we can see obvious costs to people who aren't doing it well or systems that aren't working well. And then, crucially, we also have to realize how we have to start understanding how we can actually pass on the, um, the effective stuff to other people, how we can actually teach it to other people. So that's when it becomes institutionalized and actually becomes a discipline. Um, and so in the last kind of like maybe 50 years or so, leadership has started um, becoming a discipline like that, something that we can get certifications for and degrees and all of, and we can we can actually study and we can um we can pass on that learning to the next generation and then they can build upon it too which is really cool um there are a lot of really interesting leadership models out there and uh right now is a really really fascinating time in leadership because it's emerging as this discipline like this and so there are a lot of people out there in the world who are gifted with the gift of leadership. Just like there are a lot of people who are gifted with the gift of healing, you know, like the, that kind of that physical healing. Um, and so somebody can be gifted with the gift of physical healing and then not be a doctor because they haven't actually studied any of the disciplines for how to be a, a medical professional, right? Or they don't realize they have that gift. It could be that. It's just that if they put themselves in positions of being a healer, then we at this point expect our healers, our medical people, we expect it's them to study. have some kind of, yeah, some kind of training in it, like some kind of formal training in it, right? 
So it's the same sort of thing that's starting to happen with leadership, which is so interesting because a lot of people who are really gifted with leadership rise to leadership positions. They rise to positions that, that are kind of those authority positions. Um, like and, George Washington. Uh-huh, exactly. And so now we're starting to realize that we can actually have formal training on this. Um, there's a lot of really amazing stuff that's out there right now. And, um, and we're starting to kind of get that a little bit institutionalized. So it's a good thing to think about that, um, that as we're looking at the leaders around the world, what kind of training have they had? You know, um, what kind of background do they have any, in any kind of leadership or leadership models? Um, and a really, really, really fascinating thing to think about is that every single person is actually a leader because they are at least leading their own lives just so cool to think about so as we're enjoying this beautiful Sunday um, and spending time together today might be a good fun day to think about how am I leading my own life um, and what, what are want? yeah what what do I want to change about how I'm leading my own life yeah maybe some of the changes to the status quo what are the things that I want to see more of and what are the things that I'm celebrating about all of the awesome that I have brought to this world. Because today is a good day for celebration too. All right, Bye. sending you much love. Bye. Miss you.